Thomas and Gordon. Thomas was a tank engine who lived at a big station. He had six small wheels, a short stumpy funnel, a short stumpy boiler and a short stumpy dome. He was a fussy little engine, always pulling coaches about. He pulled them to the station, ready for the big engines to take out on long journeys. And when trains came in and the people had got out, he would pull the empty coaches away so that the big engines could go and rest. He was cheeky too. He used to play tricks on the other engines. He liked to come quietly beside them and make them jump. One day, Gordon was resting on a siding. He was very tired. The big express had been late. He was just going to sleep when Thomas came up in his cheeky way. <laughs> Wake up, lazy bones! <laughs> Do some hard work for a change. You can't catch me! <laughs> and he ran off laughing. Instead of going to sleep again, Gordon thought how he could pay Thomas out. One morning, Thomas wouldn't wake up. It was nearly time for the express. The people were waiting, but the coaches weren't ready. At last, Thomas started. Oh, dear. Oh, ah, sure. The coaches were very impatient. Come on, hurry up, hurry up, we'll be late. Thomas gave them a rude bump. Oh, 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 oh. And started for the station. <laughs> Come on, stop dawdling, stop dawdling. The coaches were now very cross. Where have you been? Where have you been? Thomas fussed into the station, and Gordon said, <coughs> Hurry up, you! <coughs> Hurry up yourself! Don't worry, I will. And almost before the coaches had stopped moving, Gordon came out of his siding and was coupled to the train. <coughs> Come on, get in quickly, please. So the people got in quickly. The signal went down, the clock struck the hour, the guard waved his green flag, and Gordon was ready to start. Thomas usually pushed behind the big trains to help them start, but he was always uncoupled first, so that when the train was running nicely, he could stop and go back. This time he was late, and Gordon started so quickly that they forgot to uncouple Thomas. <coughs> the heavy train slowly began to move out of the station. Gordon grunted at the coaches. Come on, come on. Thomas teased Gordon. Pull harder, pull harder. <laughs> the train went faster and faster. Too fast for Thomas. He wanted to stop, but he couldn't. <laughs> stop! Stop! I can't keep up! You're going too fast! Gordon laughed. <laughs> faster, 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 faster! And the coaches chuckled with glee. You can't get away, you can't get away, you can't get away, you can't get away. Poor Thomas was going faster than he'd ever been before. He was out of breath and his wheels hurt him, but he had to go on and on and on. Oh dear, 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 oh dear. I shall never be the same again. I shall never be the same again. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. My wheels will be quite worn out. At last they stopped. Everyone laughed to see Thomas puffing and panting behind. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. They uncoupled him and he ran onto a siding out of the way. Gordon chuckled as he passed. <laughs> well, little Thomas. Now you know what hard work means, don't you, hmm? 
poor Thomas couldn't answer. He had no breath. He just puffed slowly away to rest. And he had a long, long drink. And he was careful afterwards never to be cheeky to Gordon again. Thomas's Train Thomas often grumbled because he was not allowed to pull passenger trains. The other engines laughed. <laughs> you are too impatient, Thomas. You'd be sure to leave something behind. <laughs> this annoyed Thomas. Rubbish! You just wait. I'll show you. One night, he and Henry were alone. Henry was ill. The men worked hard on him, but he didn't get better. Now, Henry usually pulled the first train in the morning, and Thomas had to get his coaches ready. And Thomas thought to himself, now, if Henry is ill, perhaps I shall pull his train. And Thomas ran off and found the coaches. <laughs> come along, come along. The coaches were very grumpy. There's plenty of time, there's plenty of time. Thomas took them to the platform and wanted to run round in front at once but his driver wouldn't let him. Now, don't be impatient, Thomas. So Thomas waited and waited. The people got in. The guard and the station master walked up and down. The porters banged the doors. And still Henry didn't come. Thomas got more and more excited every minute. The fat director came out of his office to see what was the matter. And the guard and the station master told him about Henry. Well, Henry's not very well today. We'll um, find another engine. Well, there's only Thomas. Well, you'll have to do it then, Thomas. Uh, be quick now. So Thomas ran round to the front and back down onto the coaches, ready to start. He was so excited his driver had to say to him, Now don't be impatient, Thomas. Wait till everything is ready. Thomas was too excited to listen to a word he said. What happened then, no one knows. Perhaps they forgot to couple Thomas to the train. Perhaps Thomas was too impatient to wait till they were ready. Or perhaps his driver pulled the lever by mistake. Anyhow, Thomas started. People shouted and waved at him, but he didn't stop. Thomas thought to himself, ha! Huh, they're waving because I'm such a splendid engine. Huh. Henry says it's hard to pull trains, but I think it's easy. And he pretended to be like Gordon. <laughs> faster, 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 faster. <laughs> faster, 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 faster. As he passed the first signal box, he saw the man leaning out, waving and shouting. And he thought to himself, they're pleased with me. They've never seen me pulling a train before. It's nice of them to wave. <laughs> and he hurried on. <laughs> faster, 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 faster. <laughs> faster, 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 faster. But he came to a signal at danger. Oh, bother. I must stop. Oh, and I was going so nicely, too. <laughs> What a nuisance signals are. And he blew an angry <laughs> One of the signalmen ran up. Hello, Thomas. What are you doing here, hmm? Well, I'm pulling a train. Can't you see? Oh. Where are your coaches then? Thomas looked back. Why, bless me if I haven't left them behind. Yes. You'd better go back quickly and fetch them. Poor Thomas. He was so sad he nearly cried. But his driver said, 
cheer up, let's go back quickly and try again. At the station, all the passengers were talking at once. They were telling the fat director, the station master and the guard what a bad railway it was. But when Thomas came back and they saw how sad he was, they couldn't be cross. So they coupled him to the train and this time he really pulled it. But for a long time afterwards, the other engines laughed at Thomas and said, <laughs> Look, there's Thomas who wanted to pull a train but forgot about the coaches. <laughs> Thomas and the Trucks Thomas used to grumble in the shed at night. I'm tired of pushing coaches. I want to see the world. The others didn't take much notice, for Thomas was a little engine with a long tongue. But one night, Edward came into the shed. He was a kind little engine, and he felt sorry for Thomas. Thomas? I've got some trucks to take home tomorrow. If you take them instead, I'll push the coaches to the yard. Thomas was delighted. Thank you, Edward. That will be nice. So they asked their drivers next day if they could change. And the drivers said, Whoa, yes. Whoa, yes. And Thomas ran off happily to find the trucks. Now trucks are silly and noisy. They talk a lot and don't attend to what they're doing. They don't listen to their engine and when he stops they bump into each other screaming oh 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 whatever is happening. And I'm sorry to say they play tricks on an engine who's not used to them. Edward knew all about trucks and he warned Thomas to be careful. But Thomas was too excited to listen. The shunter fastened the coupling and the signal dropped. Thomas was ready. The guard blew his whistle. <whistles> Thomas answered. <whistles> and started off. But the trucks weren't ready. Oh, 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 wait. Thomas, wait! But Thomas wouldn't wait. Come on, shh, shh, come on, shh, shh. And the trucks grumbled slowly out of the siding onto the main line. Thomas was happy. Come along, shh, shh, come along, shh, shh, come along, shh, shh, come along, shh, shh, come along, shh, shh. And the trucks grumbled, all right. Don't fuss, all right, don't fuss, bong, 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 bong. They clattered through stations and rumbled over bridges. Come along, shh, shh, come along, shh, shh, come along, shh, shh. And they rushed through the tunnel in which Henry had been shut up. Then they came to the top of the hill where Gordon had stuck. And Thomas's driver said, Steady now, Thomas. Steady! And he shut off the steam and began to put on the brakes. Thomas called out, We're stopping! We're stopping! And the trucks answered back, No, 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 no. And they bumped into each other, Go on, go on, go on, go on, go on and before his driver could stop them, they pushed Thomas down the hill and were rattling and laughing behind him. Ha ha, ha ha, ha ha, ha ha, long, 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 ha ha, long, long. Poor Thomas tried hard to stop them from making him go too fast. Stop pushing, shh, 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 stop pushing, shh, 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 stop pushing, shh, 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 but the trucks wouldn't stop. They just giggled in their silly way. Ha ha, ha ha, ha ha, bong bong, bong bong, ha ha. Thomas was glad when they got to the bottom. Then he saw in front 
the place where they had to stop. Oh dear, what shall I do? They rattled through the station, and luckily the line was clear, and they swerved into the goods yard. Thomas put his brakes on tight, and he skidded along the rails. Oh! <coughs> I must stop! <coughs> and he shut his eyes tight. When he opened them, he saw that he'd stopped just in front of the buffers, and there watching him was the fat director. Thomas, what are you doing here, hmm? Well, I've brought Edward's trucks. Oh, why did you come so fast? Well, I didn't mean to. I was pushed. Pushed? Haven't you pulled trucks before? No. Then you've a lot to learn about trucks, little Thomas. They're silly things and must be kept in their place. After pushing them about here for a few weeks, you'll know almost as much about them as Edward. Then you'll be a really useful engine. Thomas and the Breakdown Train Every day, the fat director came to the station to catch his train, and he always nodded to Thomas and said, Um, morning, Thomas. There were lots of trucks in the yard, and Thomas had to push and pull them into their right places. He worked hard. He knew now that he wasn't so clever as he'd thought, and he wanted to learn all about trucks so as to be a really useful engine. But on the siding, by themselves, were some trucks that Thomas was told he mustn't touch. There was a small coach, some flat trucks, and two queer things his driver called cranes. That's the breakdown train, Thomas, and when there's an accident, the workmen get into the coach, and the engine takes them quickly to help the hurt people and to clear and mend the line. The cranes are for lifting heavy things like engines and coaches and trucks. One day Thomas heard an engine whistling. <coughs> help! Help! And a goods train came rushing through very fast. <coughs> help! Help! The engine, a new one called James, was frightened. His brake blocks were on fire and smoke and sparks streamed out on each side. They're pushing me! They're pushing me! Those silly trucks are pushing me! And the trucks just laughed. Ha ha! Ha ha! Ha ha! Ha ha! Ha ha! Ha ha! Poor James disappeared under the bridge, whistling for help. <coughs> help! Help! Thomas the tank engine didn't know what to do. Oh, I'd like to teach those trucks a lesson. Presently, a man came, running. James is off the line. The breakdown train, quickly. So Thomas was coupled on. The workmen jumped into their coach and off they went. Thomas worked his hardest. <coughs> faster, faster. <coughs> faster, faster. <coughs> oh, bother those trucks and their tricks. I only hope poor James isn't hurt. <coughs> faster, faster. <coughs> they found James and the trucks at a bend in the line. The brake van and the last few trucks were on the rails, but the front ones were piled in a heap. James was in a field with a cow looking at him, and his driver and fireman were feeling him all over to see if he was hurt. Never mind, James. It wasn't your fault. We always said your wooden brakes was no good. Thomas pushed the breakdown train alongside. Then he pulled the unhurt trucks out of the way. Oh, oh, oh dear, oh, don't hurt us, Thomas. Oh, 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 oh,
It serves you right. It serves you right. <coughs> he puffed backwards and forwards all the afternoon, and he scolded the trucks. This will teach you a lesson. This will teach you a lesson. And the trucks answered in groany, creaky sort of voices. Yes, it will. Oh, ah, yes, it will. Oh, oh, oh. Then, when they put James back onto the rails, he tried to move, but he couldn't. So Thomas helped him back to the shed. The fat director was waiting anxiously for them. Well, Thomas, I've heard all about it, and I'm very pleased with you. You're a really useful engine. James shall have some proper brakes and a new coat of paint, and you, well, you shall have a branch line all to yourself. Oh, sir, thank you. Now Thomas is as happy as can be. He has a branch line all to himself and puffs proudly backwards and forwards with two coaches all day. He's never lonely because there's always some engine to talk to at the junction. Edward and Henry stop there quite often and tell him the news. Gordon is always in a hurry and doesn't stop, but he never forgets to say to Thomas, <coughs> and Thomas in return always whistles, <coughs>